Year's Eve, <clears throat> and I thought I'd finish this year with the cramps. And this is not everything I have by the cramps. Um, I have flyers that are framed up on the wall, but I'm not going to get those down. Um, except w one of them I'll get down. And since it's New Year's Eve, I'm having an Anger Beer, and it says it's black IPA with pent up attitude for those special days and it is from Sawyer Michigan and it's actually called anger beer ooh it tastes angry um, <laughs> anyway okay let's start with the scrapbook of um, some of the cramp shows I've been to not all of them <clears throat> um, these are ticket stubs from anywhere from Arizona to um, House of Blues in Hollywood to Las Vegas. And there's a little clipping out of, um, I think, the Los Angeles Weekly or the LA Weekly. <clears throat> Not on that page. Okay, and here's, here's pictures from when I went and seen them at this masquerade ball at the Variety Arts Center on Figueroa in downtown Los Angeles. And there's one of the costume people. There's a shot of the cramps. Where at the end of this show, Lux was completely naked. That was weird. And let's see, right there. Oh, there's another costume guy. And here's two more shots of the cramps. And right where my finger is, that orange shirt, that's me. Um, when I went to this, I didn't know it was going to be a masquerade ball. Otherwise, I would have dressed up. But I had just come from Irvine, California, where X and the Damned and the, mis the Misfits without... Um, <clears throat> Danzig were playing and let me see No, I can't really see me in that one There's some more of the Variety Arts Center show and here's This is from the Ventura Theater in Ventura, California sticker set list um, And my kids we dressed up to go to that they were, they were very young then, but they're, they're older now, and they're glad that I took them to see the cramps. Because you can't see the cramps anymore. And here's two little handbills from L.A. shows. And here's from a Las Vegas show that I went to. And these are pictures from a San Diego show. And more of the San Diego show, where he was on top of some speakers by the drummer, and he literally fell right into the drummer. And I tried to get a couple pictures of that, but I wish there would have been cell phones um, of quality back then, because this show would have been great to film. Okay. There's another ticket stub from a Las Vegas show at the House of Blues. And here's a flyer and a ticket stub from when I went and seen him at Iguanas in Tijuana. And there's another House of Blues show. I think they played there twice at the House of Blues. And I know I went and seen them both times. Oh, and here's a little thing from the merch table. I guess it's, you keep pills in there. And that's it. There isn't any more in this cramps scrapbook. Okay. Now here's a cramps book that I bought somewhere in, Los, in the Los Angeles area a long time ago. It's called The Wild, Wild World of the Cramps. 
and it goes up until the stay sick record. And at the San Diego show, I stood out back, and they were giving away these posters, so I had this poster autographed by Lux and Ivy. So this is my autograph poster from the cramps. Okay, on to the little records. This is the How Come You Do Me 7 inch. This is a Lonesome Town bootleg on Scatterbrain Child Records. This is the Ultra Twist 7 inch. I'll try and go through these fast so this video isn't an hour long. And here's another bootleg that I got in Las Vegas, I think at Benway Bop Records. And the record, I think, is green. Yeah, the record is. Oh, it looks like that. And the quality on this is really good. Here's the machine, or the Bikini Girls with Machine Guns, 7 inch. And can your pussy do the dog, 7 inch? This one's really beat up. I got it second hand. Here's another cramps bootleg of Human Fly. This folds out into a poster. And here's like a bad girl should. Seven inch with I walked all night on the flip side. I don't know if this little record has any, oh yes, there you go, it's red. Big Black Witchcraft Rock with Butcher Pete on the flip side. And is this one? Yeah, this one's red too. Okay. This is like a little box set. There's the back side. And it's got this one in it, and this one in it, and this one, and this one. And I don't think this has a name. No, it's just called the Cramps. I, um, I bought this thing so long ago, I really don't remember what store or what city I bought it in. Might have been Los Angeles. Okay, here's another 7 inch. Put this back in the jacket. This is the naked girl falling down the stairs. Single. Okay, oh, one more, this is Goo Goo Muck. And this little, where is it? Yeah, here's a little clipping from the Los Angeles Times advertising the show in Tijuana. Okay, here's another little box of Cramps Records. And here's a sticker. Well, it used to be a sticker. It doesn't stick anymore. It came with it. Okay, let's shake these records out because the little covers are too big for this box that they came in.
Okay, first one. These are called the Ohio Demos. The record is red. It's got Twist and Shout, All Tore Up, Mystery Plane, and TV Set on this one. This one is green. And it's got Rock and Bones, What's Behind the Mask, Uranium Rock, and Under the Wires. Oh, and by the way, these sound perfect. They sound as if they should have put these out along with their first record. This one's Teenage Werewolf, Sunglasses After Dark, Jungle Hop, and Mad Daddy. And these are versions of these songs that are not on any other release. There's that. Okay, here's the Blues Fix 10 inch. There's another flyer and ticket stub from the Tijuana show. And this was the record they were touring with. There's a ton of records to get through. Okay, here's a Look Mom No Head Picture Disc. Here's the Rockin' and Reelin' Live record on Vengeance Records. I don't have the original. And inside this, over the years, they always had these for sale at the merch counter. So I have a t not a ton of these. I probably have like 10 of them in various record jackets and framed flyers from shows. <clears throat> Here's a ticket stub from the Masquerade Ball at the, um, on Figaro in Los Angeles. And, of course, this record. Big Beat. There's another flyer from a Las Vegas show. And here's the Epitaph Medicine Label copy of Flame Job. And this is a red vinyl. Here's the picture disc version of the same record. Same picture on both sides. And I bought this at a Tower Records in Las Vegas. I'm glad I picked it up. I hardly ever see it for sale. Um, I got this one at a used record store for $5. This is a compilation of a lot of their early stuff. And <clears throat> I was surprised when I pulled the record out that it looked like this. So I was happy to get it for five. I would have given them 20. Okay, here's the one everybody has. And this has this, this came with this. Here it is. It's a little piece of paper telling you all about the record you just bought. Oh 
Okay, this is a compilation of original versions of songs that the Cramps covered. Like Green Door, She Said, um, Blue Moon Baby, Mule Skinner Blues, Bop Pills. And this is, these, um, <clears throat> I guess there's a series of these. I've only got volume two, and these are fun to listen to. The versions on there are not as good as the way the Cramps did them, but they're almost as good. Can't believe this beer is called Anger. That's so funny. Okay, <clears throat> I bought this. The eyeball in my, <coughs> excuse me, the eyeball in my martini, uh, maxi single at Mad Platter Records in Riverside, California, on Whole Road. And it has little tour dates on the back for their European tour. No, I think it's just the country of England. Here's the psychedelic jungle. This is a flyer from a show in Los Angeles I went to. I tried to, even though I lived in Needles, California, <clears throat> and in Laughlin, Nevada, I tried to go see the Cramps every time <clears throat> I found out they were playing in LA. So I was driving across that desert from Needles to the Los Angeles area or San Diego or Tijuana many times during the 90s. And I think once, yeah, the first time I ever seen them was the Hollywood Palladium. And I think that was 89. Yeah, I think that was in 1989. Here's the last record they ever did, The Fiends of Dope Island, and for a band's last record, this thing's very good. Here's another copy of it, same songs, just a different cover. Here's a bootleg. I've already shown this in a prior video <clears throat> and this is from it says the Flanders broadcast 96 but this has got stuff that they released in the 2000s on it <clears throat> and this is another bootleg with eight songs on it Okay, this one kind of has to be taken apart a little. Here's the date with Elvis. This is an original copy. This is the tour book from Europe for that record album. And this tour book was an eBay buy. I wasn't at a European show and bought that. This is another Maxi single. Here's another date with Elvis on Big Beat Records. And this one is an orange vinyl. I had extra money that week, so I bought it, even though it's there's no different songs on it. It's the same record. Here's a Gravest Hits on Illegal Records, so this isn't one of the original ones. But it's got the same songs. <clears throat> Here's the Cramps' first record, Misprint. You can tell by the um, white label there. And then here's the original with the purple label. I think there's one song, Not On One, or something like that. The, the tracks are different on the records, but they're kind of the same. It's weird. And I've already shown this one in a prior video. Live, Clutch Cargos, Detroit. 
Here's the smell of female picture disc. Here's the shows where they recorded the Smell a Female record from. <clears throat> These are both nights. Okay. Here's a copy of Stay Sick. And it has Her Love Rubbed Off live, and then a studio version of Her Love Rubbed Off, and then a live version of Bikini Girls with Machine Guns. And that's what makes this copy different <clears throat> from the original release. Here's the picture disc of the Bikini Girl song. Here's the All Women Are Bad maxi single and on the flip side it has three songs that they recorded and wrote for a John Waters movie and John Waters didn't use them. I can kind of understand why the three songs on the flip side of this are not that good. Here's the Creature from the Black Leather Lagoon picture disc. And let's look real quick at the other side. And here's the regular non-picture disc version of it. It's still in the little black bag. I haven't taken it out. So I don't know what the record looks like. Or the jacket for this record. That will have to just remain a mystery. Here's the Stay Sick picture disc. This one doesn't have any different songs on it from the original release. And here's the original release. has the same songs as the picture disc. Let's put those back. And here's the most recent copy of the Stay Sick record with a, just a different cover, same songs. Okay, this is a Cramps bootleg that I bought a long time ago in Las Vegas, and it's got Devil with the Blue Dress, You'll Never Change Me, Sinner, Walk on Broadway, and it has a recording from the Erga Music War um, on it, and the song is Tear It Up. Here's another bootleg, Indianapolis, 1981. The quality on this is okay. Don't pay any more than $10 for it, though. The quality ain't that good. Um, this is The Cramps After Dark. This is from a date with Elvis, or one of the date with Elvis shows in Europe. And the cover's not much to look at, and the records aren't much to look at for this. But the sound quality is the best ever. So the lackluster packaging, while well, they made up for it with the sound quality. Um, this one is also a Date with Elvis bootleg. These are little things from shows. And uh, I think these records are pink, and the sound quality is pretty good. And it's a, it's a whole show. And this is the deluxe version of this. And this is a show from, gosh, where, The Edge? Or Hurrah? Somewhere in Canada, I think. But this one's pretty good. The quality's okay on it. Okay, we're getting down to the end. This is a 10-inch bootleg, and this is from the... This is live in Sweden, 1991. So this would be the Look Mom No Head tour. And I forget what color this record is. But the quality on this is really good. It's a, it's a radio broadcast. That's what it looks like.
Okay, and here's the last one, Boo's Party. This one was recorded in 1990 in New York City at the Ritz. I actually know it was recorded in 1989 at the Ritz. And this would be the lineup and tour that I seen them on um, at the Palladium the first time I ever saw the Cramps. These are two orange records and <clears throat> the sound quality is okay. It's not the best, but you know, this is worth $15 if you see it for that. And that's it. That's all my, that's not all my cramp stuff. I got shirts from shows and stuff like that, but that's all the record related stuff. Okay. Happy New Year.